Hi guys, welcome to my channel where we talk about everything from tech to films and all the fun stuff in between. So guys, all of a sudden the focus has shifted from the iPad Air 4 and the iPhone 12 towards that M1 Mac computers. I almost said MacBooks there, but we also have a Mac mini with the new M1 chip. And why not? As they are offering three times the performance and almost double battery life compared to standard Intel chip based MacBooks. So I will be getting one soon to try and review out on my channel guys. And this will be the first MacBook I ever owned in my life. So please be subscribed guys to get that in-depth analysis and comparison videos on how good the new MacBooks are. Also on my channel guys, we've crossed over 2000 subscribers and one of my comparison videos, the iPad Air 4 versus iPad Pro 2020 has crossed 50K views. So I do want to do a small giveaway for you guys as a thank you for all your support. It's not much, but I promise you that as my channel grows, I will sure do bigger giveaways in future. I'm going to give away two Amazon gift cards worth 20 pounds each. It will be either $20 or 2000 Indian rupees or 20 pound equivalent to any other currency. This giveaway is open for any country guys, as long as I can send an Amazon gift card to that relevant country rules on how to enter this i will mention at the end of the video so please stick around guys coming back to the video here are a few things which i considered before hitting that buy button on the new macbooks and i'm hoping that this will be helpful for you guys as well if you are interested in the new macbooks or if you're planning to buy one soon so here are 10 things you need to consider number one we have three new mac models with the new m1 chip the MacBook Air starting at £999 or $999. Then the 13-inch MacBook Pro. It's a 13-inch, guys, not the 16-inch version, which starts at $1299. And the Mac Mini, which starts at £699. Number two, all these models come with a base 8GB of RAM and a 256GB of SSD storage. Only that base level 999 pounds MacBook Air has got a 7 core GPU instead of 8 cores on all the other base models. Not sure why Apple did this. Maybe they saved some money by not letting the robotic arm add that single extra core in their 5 nanometer fabrication process. We might see some slightly reduced graphics performance here, but the rest of the configuration is maxed out, same as other models with. 8 core CPU and 16 core neural engine. If you want to step up to that full 8 core GPU on the MacBook Air, you need to go for the next version which costs you £1249 and it also doubles the storage. Number 3, talking about that RAM. As mentioned, all the models get a base RAM of 8GB and bumping it to 16GB costs an additional 200 bucks. And you need to do this at the time of ordering as the new M1 chip is a totally integrated chip. Usually the GPU, CPU and RAM sit separately, but not on the M1 chip. They are all embedded on a single 5 nanometer chipset, which means you cannot upgrade the RAM. So decide beforehand on how much RAM you need and pay upfront guys so you won't regret later. Number three, the new MacBook Air also gets a fanless design. So the thermal cooling is done via a new aluminium heat spreader. It would be seriously cool to check out how this translates in real world. Cause at the moment my Dell Inspiron laptop sounds like a tractor if I run graphic intensive tasks. Number four, in the keynote, they dedicated an entire section about the front eyesight camera on how good the image processing will be. But don't caught off guard, guys. The camera is still the lower resolution 720p one. Not sure why Apple doesn't consider upgrading that to at least a decent full HD camera. Number five, the Mac mini, you know, that small smart TV kind of a PC 
which Apple sells, that has got a cost reduction of £100 compared to the last gen model. And if you're planning to pick one up, then this will be the cheapest entry into that Mac ecosystem. But yes, you'll have to add a keyboard, mice and a monitor. Let's assume that you've got an existing monitor which you can use and you do not need to go all the way first party to get those keyboard and mice accessories. Amazon will offer you a plethora of decent keyboard and mouse sets for just about £30. So it's definitely worth checking them out. Number 6. Looking at that M1 chip's architecture and comparing it to the A12Z Bionic chip which is in the iPad Pro, I cannot help but notice similarities. And this exact reason allows you to run iPadOS and iOS apps fully on the new M1 MacBooks. This is such a huge advantage. So you can get all those hundreds of thousands of iOS apps to work with the new Macs. I already sent an interesting comparison video here guys between the iPad Pro and the new MacBook and I will exactly do that. Guys, for all this to be possible on my channel, I humbly request all you new visitors to subscribe and show your support. My channel is not there yet to receive review units, so I buy all these devices with my own cash and there is only so much I can go without the review units. So please support and subscribe guys and I will try my best to give you the most impartial and in-depth review and comparison videos. Number 7 is battery life. This is another insane benefit which you get with the M1 chips. On the Air, you get 18 hours of battery life and 20 hours on the Pro. So guys, you can binge watch that entire Lord of the Rings trilogy and the original Star Wars trilogy under one charge. Trust me, I checked the time duration. It all adds up to about 16 hours in total for all these 6 films. Number 8. The other cool benefit of that new M1 chip is that instant system wake ability. If you are used to Windows, then you know the wait times of the system turning on. It has gotten a bit faster with SSDs now, but still, the instant on functionality on iPads is what makes them super useful so that you don't have to wait. You can just pick up the device, turn it on and just get on with your work. So getting that same functionality on a laptop is going to be awesome. Next point is power adapters and their lack of is a hugely controversial topic in 2020. Saying that, thankfully, all the new M1 MacBooks will get a power adapter included in the box. But the Air only gets a lower 30 watt USB-C adapter, whereas the Pro gets a mightier 61 watt brick included in the box. And then the final 10th point, both these MacBooks get two Thunderbolt ports. Any flavor of the MacBook Pro, even the most expensive ones, do not have that four port options. So get ready to invest on some dongles, guys. I'm pretty sure we will need it. So there you go, guys. 10 things to consider whilst shopping for the new Macs. Hope you find this video helpful. Now coming to the giveaway, I know it's not a lot, but 20 pounds or $20 or 2000 rupees gift card from Amazon, it will at least allow you to buy one of those new ESR cases or screen protectors for your brand new shiny iPad Air. To enter, you need to be subscribed to this channel. Please like and comment down on this video and also follow my Instagram account, which is Ravs Media. Yes, it has an S in the middle. I will link it down below. And like I mentioned, this giveaway is available for any country, which allows me to send Amazon gift cards. I will keep this competition open for four weeks and I'll announce the winners in my future videos. So go on. Good luck, guys. All it takes is just to hit the subscribe, like and comment down below and follow me on my Instagram. So that's all for now, guys. Thanks a lot for staying with me until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.